The first cherry blossom forecast is officially released in January each year, and in 2024, blossoming dates are just a couple days earlier than an average year. Multiple forecasts are released before the start of the season, but in general, blossoming dates can change by one to two weeks each year. Combine this with the fact that the flowers only bloom for a couple of weeks and it can quickly become hard to know when to book your trip. So in this video, we'll cover blooming dates in different areas of Japan and early and late blooming varieties so that you can make the most of your next spring vacation. Starting in late March, the cherry blossom season sweeps across the country, beginning in the south and making its way up north by the start of May. The top date for each location is the average day of opening, while the bottom date is the average full bloom from the past 30 years. Cherry blossoms in major cities like Tokyo, Kyoto and Osaka all begin blooming towards the end of March and are in full bloom around one week later. From there, it usually takes one more week and the flowers begin falling. The viewing window is short and changes each year. In Tokyo, full bloom has been as late as April 6th in cooler years and as early as March 22nd in warmer years. The window can also be further shortened by bad weather like strong winds and rain. So if you're traveling to Japan specifically in the hope of seeing cherry blossoms, we have a few tips to help you out. Tip number one is to add locations from different regions of Japan to your itinerary. The Golden Route from Tokyo to Kyoto and Osaka is a popular way to travel the country, but it might not be the best if you're wanting to maximize your cherry blossom viewing. These cities in the middle of Japan generally have similar blooming dates, so if the cherry blossom season comes early and you miss the peak in Tokyo, it's likely you'll miss it in Kyoto and Osaka as well. To avoid this, consider adding locations that bloom a little later, like Sendai or Kanazawa, to your plans. Blooming dates for these cities are one to two weeks behind Tokyo, so even if the cherry blossom season comes early, you should be able to see them in at least one location. A great route to consider for your trip is via the Shinkansen from Tokyo to Nagano, Kanazawa and Kyoto using the Hokuriku Arch Pass. Not only does this cover a range of different blooming dates, but the rail pass is a cost-effective way to travel. If you'd like to know more, check out our Hokuliku Arch Pass Guide. A bonus tip is to plan ahead and book your spring activities through this video sponsor, Fluke. Fluke is an experienced booking platform that is offered in English and super easy to use. They have over 100 cherry blossom tours and activities available throughout Japan, from trips to Mount Fuji, to scenic train rides. And if you book before March 10th using our Tokyo Cheapo code, you'll receive 15% off. To make a booking, simply use the Kluke website or download the app. Once you've signed up, you can browse all the great activities, add what you like to your cart, and make a booking using your local currency. For 15% off, at checkout, just input our Tokyo Cheapo code located in the video description. Beyond Cherry Blossoms, Kluke is also the best place to book all your essential Japan items, from Shinkansen tickets to pre-booked airport taxis. So check out our other videos for more info on those. Tip number two is to add a day or overnight trip to areas of higher elevation. This is similar to tip one, but instead of changing your itinerary completely for a chance of seeing cherry blossoms, just add in a quick side trip. For example, two hours from Tokyo is the Fuji Five Lakes area. While it's relatively close to the capital city, it's higher in the mountains, so cherry blossoms bloom around two weeks later. Similarly, just over an hour and a half from Kyoto is one of Japan's top cherry blossom locations, Mount Yoshino. Around 30,000 trees cover this mountain, and due to elevation differences, you can find blossoms well into April. Our third tip is avoid the main cherry blossom rush altogether and go at a different time. In mid to late April, blossoms in major tourist spots like Tokyo will be finished, but up north, they're just getting started. Hokkaido in particular is very late to bloom due to its long, cold winters. But if traveling all the way to Hokkaido is not for you, then don't worry, even in April, you can see blossoms in popular areas like Tokyo. The annual forecast only gives predictions for the main variety of cherry blossom, Sōmē Yoshino. But there's actually many kinds. 
Yaya's Akuda is a late-blooming variety that is pink and multi-layered. You can see these trees in a number of top spots like Nakameguro and Ueno Park. Do check out our guide for more details. There's also early blooming cherry blossoms called Kawazu Zakura. These beautiful deep pink blossoms are around from early February to early March, and there's a number of festivals where you can experience them. Two of the top ones include Kawazu, a town two and a half hours south of Tokyo, and Matsuda Herb Garden, with spectacular views of Mount Fuji. Our fourth tip for planning your vacation is to check the cherry blossom forecast. Just remember, these forecasts show the opening date of the blossoms, not full bloom. And while they're a useful resource for planning dates, the forecast can change depending on the weather. See our Tokyo Cheapo website to keep up to date with the new forecast coming out. For more helpful content on traveling Japan, do hit subscribe so you don't miss our videos. And have a great trip!